Hello everyone. We have a lot to unpack today, so let's dive right in. So this is not necessarily essential news, but it is relevant to the counteroffensive. Um, this article is on BBC, and there is uh, a discussion um, of the donation of uh, Storm Shadow missiles uh, to Ukraine by the United Kingdom government. The article talks about the properties of these uh, missiles and uh, what advantage they might provide to the Ukrainian troops. So if you're interested in that type of thing, the military technology, uh, pop over and take a look at it. This piece appeared in Washington Post talking about the documentation in possession of CIA and other international agencies that suggest that it wasn't Russia but Ukraine that carried out the sabotage operation of the um, North, uh, Nord Stream pipeline last year. Trust me, I fully understand that this reflects very badly on Ukraine. Before anybody freaks out, I want you to keep a couple of things in mind. One, what we know is that the plan existed. We don't know who carried it out, whether it was Ukraine, which would have been stupid, or whether it was also in possession of Russia and Russia carried it out. Number two, Compared to what Russia has done in Ukraine, this is fairly minor, even though, yes, I understand the economic and ecological damage. So I would invite everyone to keep a cool head about this piece. This is a developing story. Case in point about what Russia has done in Ukraine. This particular summary is in Sky News, but it is uh, consistent with other sources such as Reuters, Euronews, etc. So it breaks down the impacts of the explosion at the Kahovka Dam, drinking water being one of them, the impact to the surrounding farms, impact and endangerment of the nearby uh, hydroelectric and nuclear power stations, ecosystems and animals. Um, that particular area around the uh, Kahovka Reservoir is home to a zoo and a nature preserve. And it is very likely that um, all of the land animals uh, have perished due to the flooding. And of course, the displacement and endangerment of tens of thousands of people uh, living in that particular area. Wagner's Prigozhin is once again in the news having another squabble with the Kremlin. And this is no surprise. Remember, there was a claim by the Russian government that they have dealt significant damage to Ukrainian troops. It appears that, as I said, it was a lie and grossly exaggerated.